The new year brought a new wave of strikes. 5,000 before the year was over. As a Democrat, Truman needed union support. But he had removed the lid on prices, appeasing businessmen, and the unions were angry. The cost of almost everything skyrocketed, and working men and women demanded that their wages keep up. At one point, more than a million workers walked off the job at the same time. Truman believed that the unions were holding the country hostage and personally betraying him. While Harry supported labor and the right to strike, he was never happy when there was a strike. He was seeing it as a small businessman, and it could wreck a small business. He just didn't like strikes of any kind, and he was very frank about that. Then, in May, the railway workers went out, forcing the country to a standstill. Truman was furious. While negotiators searched for a compromise, a frustrated Truman proposed a solution no president had ever dared. He threatened to draft the striking railway workers into the army. That kind of a threat wasn't even made during the war. And uh, I think everyone in the labor movement were quite shocked by that, but they felt, well, this is uh, uh, an off-the-cuff Truman threat, but uh, he won't carry through on that. But Truman stuck by his plan. When his attorney general questioned its constitutionality, Truman told him, we'll draft him and think about the law later. It was as high-handed, as unconstitutional a measure as imaginable. But he meant it because he saw the country being th the very life of the country at stake. 